Hi everyone, I'm so excited to show you um, Stampin' Up's mini milk carton die. I have been making so many things with it and it's kind of been the hit of a lot of my classes um, this winter, now early spring. And so first thing I want to show you is this is actually the shape of the die. I've already pre-cut it, but look at this. It fits exactly on your standard cutting plate. So even though it's a large die, it's not an extra large one, so the standard cutting plates work for it. So yay! So I have pre-cut this already, and it just takes a half a sheet of cardstock. I love that. So it's um, eight and a half by eleven, just cut in half, and there you go. Pretty slick. So um, I've pre-cut this, so it's already um, scored and cut. Love that. And if you've been a little bit afraid of this because of kind of these um, funky folds that are in, at the top, I'm going to show you some quick, um, easy tips on it. So first thing first, just go ahead and fold up on all the scored lines. So I'm going to do that real quick. And I'm going to show you a tip for these, um, these top ones that are kind of like I call them a triangle fold. So I'm going to try to get in a little bit closer so you can see this. All right, so you can see, can you kind of see those triangle folds? Well, there's really only two that you have to worry about to kind of get um, the scoring done on. And they're the ones that actually look like uh, more like the W. So like here's one and here's one. Okay, so there's really two. So if you stick your finger in here like this, See how it starts to fold like that? That's all you really need to do. So all I'm doing is pinching that and pinching this one as well. So there's two little pinches that you got to do and that's pretty much it. If you um, score on all the rest of those lines, get this one folded down, this one folded up, you are pretty much good to go. This is going to assemble really fast for you. So let me back. Okay, so all the scoring has been done, and now what I've done is I've added some uh, sticky strip. And it's along this little tab on the side, I don't know if you can see that. And then also this third one in from the bottom. And what I mean by the third one is the little tabs, if you can count over three from this side, that's what I mean. Then, what I've done here is that I've taken my one and one quarter inch punch, I punched out some scratch paper, and I put it here. So I'm going to actually, yes, I'm going through two layers, which I don't normally recommend, but it seems to work for this project. And this is just my template on here's where I want to put my punch, my hole. So we'll do that. Went through two, and that's what I've got going here. All right, so now we want to um, assemble it. And, um, take the sticky strip off. What I like to do is basically I just fold this in half. Um, and that should be your halfway point, and then line it up with the other end. And there you go. As easy as that. You've got it put together. So now what I want. So now I'm going to do the bottom. What I like to do is fold in the flaps like this. The flap that's opposite the, the hole I put in first then the next one and then actually I want the one that has the sticky strip on it to be my third one because that's what that the whole thing is going to stick together with that so there you go so now remember I said all you had to do was the pinching on those what I refer to as the W ones and look look how that comes together really nice didn't have to do much more work um, than just those two little pinches. So now, um, because um, this box essentially is already open because of the circle, I'm just going to use a stapler to come in and keep it shut. Okay. Then next, we're going to add um, we're going to add a roof. So here's our roof, and this started out as a two by four and a quarter inch um, rectangle, and um, I ran it through the Big Shot. This is the Perfect Details Texture Impressions um, fold, not folder. It's the plate, and um, I like this kind of squarish um, texture on the on one side, and then the other side kind of has the swirls. So I ran that through, used um, the scallop border punch to create the border here, and then just sponged it with some old olive. Now all I'm going to do is attach it to 
our um, birdhouse. And um, I, of course, if you know me well enough now, you know I like to mention those. So what I'm going to do is just use two of those. I'm going to put just the one on to begin with, press that down, and then put the other one on. And there you go. We've got our cute little um, roof for the birdhouse. So next what we're going to do is we're going to do the bird punch. This is an awesome new um, two-step bird punch. And um, I punched the bird itself in the blue. And this is bashful blue. And this is old olive for the leaf. I did a little sponging on the bird um, for the finished one. But I also added this cute little detail with the vintage Vogue um, stamp set and just wanted to add a little contrast so I love the way that looks and here's the finished bird and I'll go in here a little bit for you oops wrong direction there you go isn't he cute I just love him so um that's the bird and now we're going to put the bird and the leaf on the branch I should say on the birdhouse and here we go I've already added dimensionals and I'm just going to put that right on the leaf branch and then just add it all together that's all he needed was one little dimensional and there we go then we've got our little birdhouse what I wanted to do next was just take it another step farther and add um, add a hanger to it so that it, so I'm going to use a piece of ribbon, our bashful blue ribbon, and we're going to um, put, get a hole in there. So the easiest way to do that is by taking the crop dial, come in from the side, and it's essentially um, halfway in on the birdhouse. And yes, there was a staple there, but I'm using the crop dial so it can go through just about anything. And we'll add our ribbon through that to so just um, kind of get your little point there, put it through, tie it off, and you get our cute little finished one here, which is right here. And look, I added some eggs. Actually, I added some um, raffia, and really, you only need just a teeny bit. Just use like one strand, crinkle it all up, throw it in there, and then I added some chocolate eggs so it looked like a bird's nest. So how fun is that? I'm excited. My club members loved it, and um, I'm looking forward to sharing my next project with you.